Okay, so I did a recent video showing some dummy HDMIs, which give you GPU acceleration when you're running a Pi headless. Uh, so I had one back then. I'm now going to try it with two to see what happens with two desktops. So at the moment I'm running headless, but I haven't got these dummies in, so it won't have any GPU support. Loads of suggestions have been uh, in the comments about ways of enabling uh, GPU support without these dummies and doing it with software, but I couldn't find any that worked. So let's just log in and also log in to KVE. So even that bit goes really, really slow, as I showed in the other video. And a lot of people mentioned that uh, they didn't notice it so much with Raspberry Pi OS. I guess the reason you don't notice it so much with Raspberry Pi OS, although it is present, is that it's such a lightweight operating system and doesn't really have any you know, nice effects and things like that. One of the things I really like about KDE is you can start typing and it will search for apps. I just, I like the way it uh, snaps all the windows and everything like that and I want that on my remote desktop. So let's shut this down, albeit slowly. You can see, just, it's painful to use. Really, really slow. and shut down and then I can plug these two in. Now obviously you can do this a lot neater but I already have uh, micro to standard HDMI adapters so I figured I'd do it that way. So let's unplug and plug in again. And now it already feels much snappier so let's log in. And now we can do things much quicker so if I select something like shut down just to show what it was like before. Uh, it took ages to get to it before this time it's much, much quicker. There you go, but I'm not going to shut down this time. I'm going to switch over to screen capture so you can see it on the iPad. So now I have one desktop and a second desktop. Uh, and so if I open up, say for instance, Chrome and I minimize it a bit, and then I haven't got used to the drag yet so much with the touch screen, there you go. So I can drag it to that second desktop and I can switch between the two desktops. I was wondering how it was going to appear and work before I tried it with a monitor and with a dummy, but it's nice to see it working in this sort of way. Uh, so if I was to launch, say, YouTube, you can see that will come up, but I can also go back here and open up the files, open up the terminal, and everything is working as it should. Although I think they've probably opened on the other desktop, have they? Yeah, they've, up to, uh, they've opened on this desktop, so double tap, and then I can drag that over and I can pin it into place and go back to this desktop and I can say put this on one side and put the YouTube in, oh, how am I going to, oh, oh, window snapping doesn't work in the same way uh, because obviously it doesn't know where the edge is in quite the same way. Maybe it does at the top. Yeah, so the top works. So I thought it'd be interesting as well to see what it works like with Windows. Uh, so let's install VNC on Windows and see how this dual desktop works. So I've got my little Melee mini PC here, so let's switch that on. And that's all started up on both desktops. So if you do a search for VNC Viewer, you'll get this one here, realvnc.com. Let's click on that, and just make sure you've got the viewer, not the server. So just download that, I've downloaded it already. So we head over to the Downloads folder, and just double click it, and install it, and yes. Now if we do a search for VNC, you can see that I've recently added it. Now to get to this screen, just don't bother signing in uh, or creating an account. For some reason, because I've done it before, uh, it already goes straight to this screen. But if you, if you get a screen that wants you to sign in, sign up, pay money or anything like that, just hit cancel or skip and uh, it would take you to this screen. Now I know that my IP address uh, from my Pi is 192.168.1.105. So hit enter and it will come up asking you for a username and a password to obviously pop that in. And if you're using my version of KDE Plasma, it'll already have VNC already set up. You just need to know the IP address and the user will be Pi and the login password, if you haven't changed it, will be Lee PSP Video. So this is how it looks. Uh, you can see I can log in and uh, if I want the other desktop, there's a little line down the bottom here. It's not actually as intuitive as on the iPad, but this is basically your two desktops. I mean, at least I've got mouse and keyboard, so uh, you know, moving things around is gonna be nicer to do. So if I wanted to snap something into place, you can see the little window shows where it's gonna snap. 
uh, and the same with this YouTube as well. Uh, so again, I can't snap it to that side. It just wants to go full. And I've played around with this um, and I've been trying to find a way of getting it to uh, work with dual desktops. If I zoom out, I was kind of hoping it might have utilized the dual desktop. So you can see here, this is just the standard Windows 11 desktop on the bottom here. Uh, if I call that up, you can see. But whatever I do, it doesn't actually make it go over dual desktops. And I couldn't seem to find a way of actually changing it. Uh, so in VNC, you've got some settings, which is where, if I minimize it, is it? Yeah, so here, if I right click on this one, uh, we've got properties and there are some expert settings in there. Some options here, uh, picture quality and also scaling as well. But I couldn't see an option that would go across multiple desktops. I don't know if it even exists. Maybe some of the, obviously there's loads of other remote desktop systems about. And uh, I suppose I could try XRDP, which is one I often use. The reason I switched over to VNC is because VNC works well with the window manager on KDE Plasma, but uh, XRDP didn't work. Uh, and that was the one I always use with Raspberry Pi OS. So maybe I'll switch over to that and give that a go, but also maybe try it on my Mac as well, see if there's any different settings. So I've just installed VNC Viewer for my Mac, uh, and I'm using the one downloaded from the website, not through the iOS store, because I want to see what the desktop one is like. Uh, and this was the screen I was on about. So when you get to this, uh, it looks like you've got to sign in, create an account. But if you click use VNC viewer without signing in, then it just gives you this screen. So now we can type in 192.168.1.105 and return. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah. So if I drag over from one side to the other, the whole screen moves. But as you can see, it's not involving the top screen at all, even though that's all connected. Just booted up Raspberry Pi OS uh, to give that a try, see if it's any different. And uh, I'm going to use XRDP and also VNC. I'm using that on an SD card. And I've still got my two screens connected. So let's start up XRDP. Okay, so I'm on my main Mac screen now. And uh, if I click on this one and launch it, and I can put in the username and the password. And see what happens. Okay, so it's booted up full screen on this computer, um, but no mention of the second screen. Uh, so let's go into preferences and screen configuration. So I have got both uh, HDMI dummies plugged in. So I would have thought it would have detected there was two screens. Uh, so yeah, but it doesn't, it doesn't show that there's two screens connected. So let's see what happens if I drag this down to the main desktop. Yeah, you can see that's on the main one. And if I try and drag it up to the second screen, yeah, so that, that works, but I still have that thing where I can't get it to go across two screens, because if I, if I let it go, you can see it's either on one screen or the other. So let's close down XRDP and try VNC again, but with Raspberry Pi OS this time. And let's see what happens here and double tap on that. So this is the same Pi, again, with both of the uh, HDMI dummies plugged in. So let's pop my password in. Yeah, and that's working. But I don't have uh, dual screens as well. So that must be something that uh, KDE Plasma does. If I go into Preferences and Screen Configuration and Configure, yeah. I don't have separate screens. Obviously it's using a different window manager, so maybe that's got something to do with it. So does anybody know of a way of having a remote desktop, but using it on a computer that is running two screens and it will actually replicate those screens? I'm sure it probably exists. Uh, I don't know if I particularly need it. I just thought it was interesting to try and find out if it would work. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.